that's gone to lie And you jump the spy You stun like a cannon You show the scars of your darkest night Fifty-three days. That's the number of days that you've been in my life. From our first Instagram message and phone conversation, I knew there was something special. A connection on so many levels, from our love of dogs to our careers, we just clicked. 825 days. That's how many days ago I took a chance to fly 1,100 plus miles to meet you in Savannah, Georgia. Literally meet you. For the first time, we did everything I love in one weekend. A concert, the beach, we pet some dogs, went running, ate amazing food, and tried some awesome beers. You were kind, compassionate, gentle, funny, sweet, and thoughtful. None of those traits have wavered. I've never felt as home or as loved as I do with you. You truly are my rock. Telling you that I loved you for the first time might have been one of the easiest things I've ever had to do. Loving you each and every day has been the best two and a half years of my life. Nothing's even come a close second. When I stood there at that Savannah airport holding that bouquet of Tootsie Pops, I thought to myself I might have been catfished. <laughs> I've never been more nervous in my entire life, standing there with hundreds of people who were constantly walking by, looking at this guy in skinny jeans holding a wrapped up mess of Tootsie Pops. And then I saw you, I saw that glow on your face, I saw that smile from ear to ear, and I knew, I knew this was real. Not just you, but the connection I felt for you was reciprocated back to me. And your kiss, that first kiss, that put it on the line right away kiss, sealed the deal. Spending the next four days with you was incredible, arguably <clears throat> the best weekend of my life. I didn't want you to leave. Four days ago. <laughs> we drove home from Savannah and started our life. I didn't doubt a thing. I knew then that you were the one for me. Not a question in my mind and that was crazy to me, knowing you for less than three months. But I went where life was taking me because everything up to that point had led me to you. The last two months of training seemed like they were never going to end. And here we are. <laughs> Many adventures, concerts, beers, dogs and laughs later. Our house, our lives, Rudd, Cow, Bella, our family and friends. The Blacks and the Dobies have taken me in like one of their own and have treated me with the utmost love and respect. You're lucky to have such an amazing family and I'm beyond excited to join our families together. Life truly has been great to us. God has been great to us. I could go on and on with all the dates and events that have been special to us, but today is most important. It's number one. It's the first day of the rest of our lives. The first day is husband and wife, the first day of a new adventure, and our greatest adventure yet. I need to take a second to explain the number one reason why I know you're my soulmate. It's not because we finish one another's sentences all the time or we have the best of times together. It's something bigger than that. Someday, hopefully a long, long time from now, life won't be so blue and beautiful as it is this very moment. Whether it's because we're stressed out about kids, retirement, medical, or losing the ones around us we love, the moments in life that hurt us the most are going to be the moments that test our bond. I know I can rely on you. I know no matter how hard something is, how hard life is, that you will be by my side no matter how bad the circumstances. And I know you feel the same way about me. There is no quit here. There is no it's too tough and walk away. I am forever going to be there for you until my last breath and beyond. This bond we share at the State Fourth makes us a team, a partnership of husband and wife. I know I will always be able to count on you and have never felt that way about anyone. I could ask the impossible of you and I know you would give your last breath trying. That's how I know you're my soulmate. Although you proposed to me literally in front of thousands of people, thousands of people, with a dog biting your arm, it's ironic that it's just the two of us here today. But this scenery and setting is exactly how I envisioned marrying you. Your proposal and our wedding will always be the best two days of my life, besides getting rod. But before we take photos for hours, 
my favorite thing. I need to tell you these last few things. I vow to you this day forth that I will always love you and I will continue to be faithful to you as I have from day one. I have and will continue to give you my trust, respect. Thanks, Crow. Honesty, integrity, and I'll leave no secrets between us. I will always put you first in our lives. I will always take your opinion into consideration. Unless it's yard work, then I absolutely will not. <laughs> I will always listen to your voice. I will always give you an ear. I will always treat you as an equal, regardless of income, job, title, notoriety, stress, sleep deprivation, anything. And I expect the same from you. I promise you, long after this day and many years from now, I will continue to try to make you laugh, smile, and keep you feeling the way you feel this very moment. Nothing in this life gives me greater honor than to feel your love each day. You're my mostest toastest, and today and every day forth, I'm the luckiest guy alive because I get to call you my wife. I love you. I know you have been waiting a long time for this, both to marry me, but to officially be a trooper wife. <laughs> I have both your ring and your highly desired New York State Police PBA spouse card. Both of these items really make this marriage official. Let's finish out this trip with some epic hikes as husband and wife, see some more beautiful mountains, and eat all the delicious Montana food. I love you, Jake. I really did hit the Jake pot. <laughs> Sign some paperwork. 